Hey guys, it's Matt and welcome back to Redstone 101. In this episode we're going to be building this in front of me here, which is a something really for adventure maps where you can pay blocks into it to get a redstone output. So as you can see we've got the input there and then the output is that redstone lamp. And I saw it on a voxel box adventure map and I think I've figured out how to work it. So I'm just get this block out here, lapis, and then we'll pay. This takes three blocks to turn on, so we'll put one in eventually. This is pre-recorded. I had my mic off when I first recorded it, so I'm just going back over it here. So what we'll do is that turns on when you pay three blocks into here. So here we go. One, two, and three. And then it closes, and then the light comes on, as you can see there. It's, it look, It's fairly simple to build as well, so we'll go over it now. You basically start out with three stone blocks, and then put two at the side of it, like so. There we go. One up there, and one up there. And then you put on the repeaters, because that's where you place the block there. The first torch there powers that block, which powers that repeater. Then you put that um, that repeater on the second tick, otherwise it goes too quickly. Then you put a block behind it. Not there. Not there. There. And then you put one on the floor behind it. Because that block you've placed behind it, you really want to have you want to have the redstone power going on up there. So that, pow that redstone repeater powers that block, which powers that bit of dust, which powers that there. So when you place a block there, that should light up, like that. And then you place, now you need to place the piston. So you get a normal piston, and you place it facing down, so that that redstone wire is powering it, like there, like that even. And then you get the sticky piston, there we go. Don't drop all your pistons on the floor like that. And then place one behind it like that. That one wasn't for anything. And you place a torch on the back block to power that one so it's forwards. And that is basically what the entire mechanism is. Of course, that doesn't have an output yet, but we'll get to that. But as you can see, it accepts blocks, pushes it down, and then goes back out. So we'll get rid of that. And I thought my sound was a bit too loud there for some reason, but it's not. <laughs> so, whatever. Doesn't really matter. So now what we need to do is we need to build the way the redstone turns on when it's accepted blocks. So as you can see, that's the first stage there. We want to have three. So we'll, put, we'll dig two down so we have room for three blocks. It, you can have as many as you like. Well, 12 is the maximum, but... I'll go with three. So what I'm doing here is I'm placing redstone at the bottom so that when the third block comes down, of course, redstone will get pushed into it like that. And then, of course, redstone wire will get power from it as well. That doesn't get affected by that torch there because it's not high enough. So, of course, when the blocks go down, that'll turn it on. So when we place in three, that will turn on the wire. Oh, yep, here we go. This is me covering up the front of it because... Of course. I don't know, I'm watching this video back and it seems so stupid without the sound. It probably seems the same, but you know what I mean. Maybe. I don't know. It, it, but I can't remember what I'm saying. So, oh, what I'm doing here is when you want when you want it, when you, it turns on, sorry, you want it to sh close that gap. So I'm placing a piston down here. You need to have room for two bits of stone so that it'll push two up. And then you place a piston below it. But push punch out the block just behind it first, like that. And then place the piston there. Because now you'll see in, at the very back... That hole is there. If you place some redstone there, it very conveniently fits there. So I was quite pleased with that. So you heard the piston there. That does close it at the front, but I forgot to put the blocks in. So we'll put some stone in there now. Go around the back. When you place the block in now, and we go back to the front, it does push them both up. So we'll push those back. Pull those back even. It is a one way only thing. You have to reset it manually after that, which is why it's only good for adventure maps, really. Having it for a normal. Um, server's not very good because of course as soon as someone's used it like that it goes it goes to, it switches to another state and it can't be undone without going and doing it yourself but that's basically it and that's that's all there is to it really it's, 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 it is really simple when you look at the back, back of it but it has an it has a very nice effect especially for adventure maps as you saw i saw it i used it in the runecraft episode two i put that in for help because they wanted to have something good in there so i showed them how to build this and that was it and that's basically it so i'll see you in the next video guys